The National Women's Soccer League, their season is now on hold. The game scheduled for this weekend canceled amid allegations of sexual misconduct against a prominent coach. According to a stunning report from The Atlantic, at least two players have accused North Carolina Courage coach Paul Riley of sexual coercion and more. Riley has now been fired. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, psychotherapist and host of Talking Live, joins us now. Uh, I don't know where to start with this, doctor, because it really was a stunning report, but I guess I'll begin with the fact that this had apparently been swirling behind the scenes mm. for years and involved multiple teams. How in the world does this happen? Well, there's so much embarrassment when it comes to being a victim of sexual abuse. And when you think about these athletes and the coaches and the relationship that they have between each other, they are basically taught to listen to their coach, to do what they are told, to think of themselves as a family and what happens and whatever is said impacts the whole group. So you can see that there's something about about the system that also adds to the secrecy. And therein lies the problem. And so now the good thing is that we're starting to hear about these stories so we can start to look at it and figure out a structural way to reduce this from happening. Well, the problem with this though is, Doctor, at least one of the players brought this up to her team in 2015. Now, mm -hmm. that team didn't renew the coach's contract, but apparently, I don't know whether nothing was said about it. There apparently was an investigation, but the coach was then hired by another team. And that's the problem. And hopefully, hopefully that will not happen moving into the future. I think we know the damage that happens when young girls, mostly young girls in, in this case, um, uh, are, are victims. And they have so many issues, both in terms of mental health and their relationships. They can even be suicidal. We know the devastation that is happening to them. And there's a responsibility also to check out who these coaches are, what their history is, and to train them. Maybe these coaches are just too tempted. Maybe they need to know in advance they might be tempted. They might be attracted to those they are working with, but to understand that they cannot act on those feelings. And if they do, there will be consequences. I guess just the, like teachers. Right. The, the other troubling part of this, and there are so many, Doctor, is that if this is happening at this level with some of the, I, I guess, highest level, Olympic level soccer players, mm -hmm. is it happening at the youth and college levels? Well, it certainly can. And very often these coaches have a very high level. They're well received. They're very powerful. They are successful in terms of getting the wins that some of these institutions mm -hmm. are looking for. And so now we really need to look at the whole person. If someone is damaging as a coach, if somebody is behaving inappropriately, abusing their power, that is not okay. And the more people that are talking about this and um, the more we hear about this, then we can address it. Yeah. Uh, and it needs to be addressed because it has been going on for a long time and we do need to put a stop to it. Yeah. Uh, I did reach out to uh, a couple of friends and a couple of former and even a current player as well. They were all, they said, angry, upset, exhausted, and not ready to speak out right now. Um, they will be at some point and we will look forward to having them on the broadcast to explain exactly what they went through and what they are going through and what will change moving forward as the season is now on hold. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, psychotherapist, host of Talking Live, thanks for your time and adding your insight tonight. We appreciate it.